Well, just how prevalent is child trafficking in the country and what can be done to eradicate it? Founder of Awareness for Child Trafficking Africa, Hilary Leong, joins us virtually to unpack that. Hilary, uh, good morning to you. Thank you very much for your time on this Saturday morning. Uh, as I just spoke with my colleague here, Maseko Rahlaha, we were asking uh, and wondering just how big the problem is, not just in South Africa, but on the continent of Africa. Can you help us understand? Good morning, Jenna Lee, and good morning to all the viewers. Thank you so much for having Act Africa on this um, um, on SA morning. So, so the problem is very big across Africa, not just in South Africa, um, where children are being targeted um, for various um, this kidnapping and, of course, human trafficking and abduction for various reasons. Those reasons are being um, illegal adoptions, um, forced labor in terms of, of trafficking, sex trafficking, and then there's the different forms of kidnapping and abduction which takes place, which is not related to uh, sex trafficking or, or you know, or la forced labor. It could be personal disputes. It can be f kidnapping for ransom, custody um, situations. And then you have pedof uh, pedophiles, um, which don't necessarily traffic the children, but have a, 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 a sick um, affinity for children and kidnap these children for their own purposes. And then, of course, where they do also share the information um, in terms of photographs and videos they take of children and that they would do online and in um, other various, um, through movies, 